Greetings from the Century Man and a bolt action battle report for you. <laughs> the Eccentric Man YouTube channel is kindly sponsored by Lost Ark Games in Stevenage for in store, online sales, and in store gaming. At Collins, for such a long time, I haven't been here, and uh, we've set up a, a game for Road to Berlin. And Colin's going to use his newly painted, well, possibly not newly painted. Not now. <laughs> there for a while. It was newly painted, it was. but unplayed with the little troopies. Um, I haven't had much outings out, but they're going to get an outing out today. We're going to do scenario 12 from Road to Berlin, and that is tank hunting. So uh, Colin is here, <laughs> and I uh, haven't seen him for a long time. No, a we are both double jabbed, and yes. we are both COVID negative tested. So, uh, as best as we can do. <laughs> yes, I think so. So, here we are. Uh, so, it should be fun. We're using the city fight rules, and part of that is rubble. So, where you see the grey shell buildings, the warlord sort of plastic ones, they are going to be rubble, and that's got various different effects. So, for instance, a tank, if it wants to travel across, has to take a rubble test, and it can either crash and not go anywhere and be destroyed, or it can just race across without any problems whatsoever. Troops that are in the rubble get cover saves. So they get cover, cover modifiers. So no orders, ambush or down is minus three. Fire or rally minus two and advance is minus one. However, if they're down, they also get the plus two, the, the minus two for down. So that gives them a minus five to hit. Do I have a plan? I don't usually have a very, plan, very good plan at all. Uh, this one was to put everything on to try and rush as best as I could. A little bit cautious, but to support the vehicles with infantry to engage his infantry with Panzerfaust. So my army tonight is tanks and more tanks. Uh, I don't have very many of one particular type of tanks in my uh, list of armies, apart from the North Africa ones. But for this, I've got a Sherman 75. I've got a Cromwell with a medium anti tank, I think it is. There's a Tech Track just uh, hidden in there. And that's got a light howitzer. I've then got the AEC-3, a uh, medium anti-tank. And then I've got a Crusader, uh, some sort of cruiser tank. Um, and you can see Father Christmas there. I use him in, used him in our Christmas ta water tanker. And I haven't got around to removing him yet. And then I've got a Jeep. Uh, Infantry-wise, I've got two sections of British infantry. Uh, nine men. NCO's got a submachine gun light machine gun in each group and then I've got a unit of paratroopers at the back uh, and they've got five submachine guns, a light machine gun and some rifles. For this scenario, uh, see it's a tank platoon but the troops can come on because it's supposed to be a Soviet attack uh, so the troops ride on on the tanks which is most amusing. I've never done that before. Have you done that, Colin? Uh, not personally, no. But it's, it's good <laughs> if you shoot them with machine gun fire, they jump off. If you shoot the tank, they jump off, don't they? Yeah. yeah. So, so they do that, and then I've got a forward observer artillery, and I've got a sniper team and a jeep to uh, to bring them in. So, uh, that is my army. Thousand points. Oh no, it's twelve, twelve, fifteen, twelve forty-four. I spent on mine. Oh, okay. Uh, five with more eleven you. dice. Yep, ready when you are. Okay, well, my force is the last levy, the final throws of the Reich. Um, we've got the same points, obviously, as Ken, it's 12.49. Um, starting from the back, I've got a, a veteran MG42, which has got an extra 15 points now, which allows it to be worth 80 points, but you can get two pin points, two pins. Which is quite loose. Next to them, we have the Kriegmarine, the uh, German Navy. They are inexperienced. NCO has got a submachine gun. Next to that, Puma armoured car um, with a 50 mil, so obviously a medium anti tank. Next to that, because of my love of the French, um, we've got the Flam Panzer B2, which they just nicked the French armour and they put a flamethrower in the hull. So we've got a uh, light anti tank on the top and flame in the hull, and they've lost the machine gun that was in the hull. But nine all round, pretty reasonable tank and slow. And still, obviously, you've got to roll orders to move. Um, next to them is the Goliath, which is a remote-controlled bomb, basically. Very hit and miss. Um, you can go forward 18, five or six hits, one to four. It, 
I don't know, a track comes off and it blows up. So, but it's penetration. But it's, seven. it's not an, an explosive anti tank dog. <laughs> it is, it, it is, and you can use it against buildings, oh, which is yeah. good because you couldn't before. But the big thing is, you can't fire it at a tank that has moved. Right. So it's a bit awkward that you've got to time that one. Yeah, yeah, it is. So, next to them, we have the Turncoat French, the Charlemagne, um, oh, yeah. the Waffen 33, 33, Waffen SS. Um, very good troops, uh, all mainly with assault rifles and a light machine gun in there. They're stubborn, but they're more than stubborn, they're fanatical, even if they go down to one man. So one man standing, so they're pretty good. Next to them, Brandenburgers, uh-huh. which all are all armed with assault rifles, but obviously very good at um, causing confusion. We then have uh, Hitler over here. Um, first Lieutenant, veteran with his two mates with submachine guns. A here group of eight, just with a light machine gun. And then the Volstrom guard here, inexperienced troops with whatever they could pick up. Bristling with um, Panzerfaust. Mm-hmm. So that's pretty much it at 12.50. Yeah, interesting. Yeah. So hopefully they... Could... Should be interesting. Yeah, see how it goes. The preparatory bombardment did come in and I was using a British observer so I get to roll two dice and choose the highest. Uh, there was some trepidation from Colin because um, it could do a lot of damage. But I rolled an awful lot of ones and twos oh, thank after you. rolling a six to hit. So over here, the Goliath got one pin. The here picked up two. So whenever you see a two, that means that they got a hit with a six. But no men killed. So <laughs> into the uh, Volkstrom. And that was one pin. Yeah, oh, I thought it got two, didn't it? That's one. Yeah, yeah. That's one two pin. pins on the officer. No, I lied, don't I? Because that was a four or a five. Yeah. Yep, so there was there. Then the uh, machine gun team in the centre took... One pin. One pin? Yeah, one, I think. Uh, two pins on the Charlemagne unit. Yep. I hit the Flam Panzer, but failed to penetrate it, which was a bit of a shame, really, because that could have uh, fried it nicely. Kriegsmarine, two pins. Yep. And then further on the far side, Puma's got one. Yeah. And the Brandenburg's got two. one. Oh, uh, two, yeah. So that's, uh, that's all that it did there. So... Uh, biggest company chooses, I suppose. So now we're going to need to turn one and pull in the dice out. End of turn one, and uh, the British have struck at the Germans. They have. The, uh, They're nervous. The nasty They're little good. sniper team down here with British. That was good. Took a shot at the um, medium machine gun. Uh, and of course, unmodified, there's no modifiers affecting the shot, apart from it needed a four because of range. Got a four. And then got a five and killed the team, uh, as it happens in bolt action. Yeah. Um, other than that, uh, Colin tried to rally the Volkstrom, but they failed. They went down. The here rallied. Uh, everyone else, uh, I think the Goliath, Goliath didn't. went down, didn't yeah, it? Yeah, Goliath went down. But the uh, officers rallied. Charlemagne, they failed, did they? They went down or they no, rallied? No, no, no. They just no, they rallied, didn't they? They rallied, yeah. They did rally. And the tank rallied. Yep. The Flam Panzer and the Creek Marines, Creek Marines rallied. rallied. And everyone else has rallied over there. Yeah. So they were all okay. I've brought on my troops. A little bit cautious for a start. The Sherman with the uh, troops riding on the tanks. Brought on the little tech track. And I've done an indirect fire onto the Charlemagne unit in the rubble. My observer... Artillery observer, you can just about see you down there. Let's get down to the building. There you go, you can see his hat. Uh, that's called in an artillery strike into the centre there. He thought, strike while the iron's hot uh, and see if he can get them while they're still sleeping. Dismounted the paras off of the uh, Father Christmas tank and brought on the Cromwell uh, with their riders on there. AEC coming on this side over here. Uh, and that's about it. So the next roll is going to be to see whether the uh, artillery comes in. I think it's a one it misses, two and three it's delayed, and four it goes off. Six. Goes off then. Goes off, and we see how big the diameter is. It's six plus. 
Six. Twelve. <laughs> dear, oh dear. I would. Okay, we're into turn two, and I've advanced the AEC armoured car up to the crossroads, and Colin could write down mines, and this was one of the places where he put one. So I've rolled my little tanky, well, my little armoured car up to it, and we've got to roll the dice now to see if there's going to be an explosion. So as I was norming, moving normally, it's going to be one, uh, dice. one dice. And it's a regular. And we're going to see. We're so a regular. Four plus. One. Oh, bollocks. Yeah, I should give it to you. <laughs> four, 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 shouldn't I? <laughs> Colin said, let me roll it, because he, oh. he thought that was more funny. Uh, oh. So that's, that's good. They survive. Gung Ho advance. Let's move the Sherman up with the uh, tank riders up to there, and apparently I've gone on a um, minefield, and Colin's got his uh, puma on ambush. So Colin is. Uh, we're going to wander this way across. I'll go fairly slow, so you don't get too seasick and dizzy. Uh, so I'm going to come across to the dice box, and Colin's got a roll of dice, and uh, you're regular. I'm regular. Four. Yep. Uh, there's bang. a big bang. It's a bang. And it's penetration five. Five, okay. So I, so my armour is nine. Do we have anything for underneath? You would have thought armour is thinner underneath. You would say, but it, yeah. So I'm on armour nine. Five plus, uh, still five, uh, five, isn't it? Four for advance. Yeah. Five for a penetration. Five for a penetration. A lot of penetrating going on here. Yeah, a lot of penetrating. And, <laughs> and a roll. Two. Two. I am immobilised. You are immobilised, and you've got D3 pins, because of what the minefield does. Yeah. D3 pins? D3. One. One. So probably three pins then. Because immobilised gets one plus one. Right. And does the minefield add another one? It, it's just a one, so it'd be two. 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 Okay. Two two. End of turn two, and some interesting things. Of course, we had the minefield over here. And the tank running up the middle here managed to get across it. So obviously, uh, knowing that there's a minefield there now, the uh, Cromwell has done an about turn, and he's going to go a different way. But the infantry have jumped off, and they've peppered the Volkstrom. But it was incredibly bad, In incredibly, incredibly bad. Uh, no, no wounds on an inexperienced unit, and I, and I got a few hits. Yeah. <sighs> or three actually. Yeah, but... three hits, which wasn't. Which wasn't a lot with the number of dice I was rolling. Uh, so over on this side, the Germans are hurriedly trying to redeploy to get into the centre a little bit more. Uh, because of the artillery, the Charlemagne people went down. I tried to put more pins on them, but it didn't work, unfortunately. But they are down for this for that, that turn that's just gone. But tried a plink, a couple of plinks at the um, flam wagon, flam wagon, flam whatever it is, flam painting. Um, but didn't uh, do any damage to it. Um, I think I put an extra pin on the uh, Craig Marine. Craig's Marine. I think you probably so did. Yeah, yeah. You might have done that on there. Uh, over here, the Brandenburgers have moved out. Who've uh, come up to the centre? And I just, uh, as we saw, the Sherman uh, triggered the minefield, got immobilised, and then took a hit from the Puma, uh, and that's given me four pins, uh, and I'm now stunned. And immobilised. So if I can find immobilised. Oh well, we'll have a look in later. Uh, but I do need to roll for um, turret jam. I realised. Mm. So we'll we'll roll for turret jam to see if we get any get any turret jam. So I think it's a four four plus. It's a a turret jam. So uh, over here, what else did we do? Oh yes, the sniper team mm. down here yes. shot at the Volkstrom. <laughs> uh, leading a three and missed, which was the story really of the last turn for me. Uh, was not good. So let's have a look. Uh, let's see if there's four turret plus, then. No, turret can rotate oh, that's handy. as far as it can, which is not going to be very far because it's stuck by that. Uh, that rubble. is rubble, though. That is rubble. So, so you could turn it. So we could down turn the road. it, sort of, you get the Brandenburgers. You can get down here. That, that's something. Yeah, yeah. So, um, mind you, you're not going to fire. Yeah, because all, all the big buildings like that one next to it is it is a rubble. We just said for the uh, all, city all fighter. All the grey, um, yeah, ruined hamlet ones. So um, turn three. Let's see if we can roll anything better than ones and twos. An interesting turn. Um, I had hoped to get the first dice for my, my cruiser tank, 
but it didn't work. Uh, and I had tried to put more pins on the Charlemagne unit, and that didn't work. So they had one pin, uh, so they passed their morale check, moved on out, and hit with their uh, Panzerfaust, and destroyed the tank, which was a bit harsh, really. Uh, over here, the uh, British have moved out and taken a shot at the Brandenburgers, but only managed to put the pin on because Colin went down with them. The Puma uh, had come out to take another shot at the Sherman, but fortunately for me, missed, and I've rallied off all pins. But I'm immobilised. Uh, the stun comes off for next turn, uh, but I'm immobilised, but I didn't get turret jam, so if I get the first dice... Mr. Puma will probably be running round behind that um, rubble cover. Mm, you can do it in reverse. Yeah. So that's fine. Uh, let's see. Over here, um, I was able to put a put a couple of pins on the Volkstrom, and they went down, which was lucky because they've got quite a lot of um, Panzerfaust in there. But my sniper hit them this time, and because it's exceptional damage, I was able to take out one of the Panzerfaust, so they're down to three. Uh, you may see an immobilised on that, so that uh, allowed me to move up my... Uh... Oh yeah, uh, so the flam pans were moved up and fired at the uh, AEC, which uh, I stood to receive. And fortunately, Colin missed with the flame flamer, flame thrower, yes. and missed with the uh, light anti-tank gun. And so I zapped through the gap, which was a tight fit, uh, and I managed to immobilise the, the flam panzer. But it's still got its flame, so anything going into the front of that arc is going to get toasted. Uh, quite probable. Uh, over here, the Kriegsmarine uh, decided they weren't very happy and foobarred. No, they didn't like that. They didn't like that. And then rolled a two, uh, and because there was an enemy within 12, uh, I chose for them to fire at the Charlemagne. But because they've got their two pins, um, they only caused one pin on the Charlemagne's and didn't kill anyone. No. But it was it was worth a go, worth a go. Um, over here, I've moved my Cromwell out, and the Cromwell did take a shot at the uh, the here unit, but missed with the main gun and for the machine gun, so better luck next time. And, yep, the British Infantry over here did the shots on the Armstrong as well. So that's about it, isn't it? Oh. My little jeeps had to move up there. It's uh, getting a bit of a bottleneck. Uh, so, interesting. A couple of first dice uh, are going to be very important coming out here. In turn four. So, unfortunately, Colin is having the run of the dice so far from the turn. Uh, the Brandenburgers rallied, um, passed their leadership test, and has forced me to go down with the um, British here, which is unfortunate. And over here, he's sent out the Goliath against my little Cromwell, which is really harsh. If I hit it, it's harsh. So it's a, it's a needing five. a five or a six. Five or a six. Are we ready? We are ready. No. Three. <gasps> so it disappears, but that was close though. Well, well Sherman was lucky this turn. Uh, because of the way that the dice were rolling, I managed to uh, be able to have a shot on the Puma which wreckied away and went behind the house so I couldn't actually get it. Uh, over here, the Brandenburgers have come up and uh, given a good shot at the British. I went down and fortunately I only took one pin and no casualties. Moved up the Tetrick, uh, Tetronk and took a few shots at the Charlemagne but uh, managed to kill one, which was quite good and put a pin on them. Uh, they got the drop on the Paris so I put them down and uh, they survived. Moving up the jeep and the air Obser and the artillery observer, and then also pu push forward the Cromwell, which uh, avoided getting hit by the Goliath anti-tank little doobery. I fired at the um, what do we call it? Big tank. Um, I'm yes. What did we do with that? Uh, just bounced off it. Bounced off, didn't it? Yeah, it did. Put pin, a pin, did a pin, and bounced off. Yep. Right uh, over here, Colin rallied the Volkstrom, but I've uh, moved up to give them another shot and killed one. 
Uh, yeah, yeah, I think he did one. kill one, yeah. So we've got rid of two out of four Panzerfaust, so we moved them up a little bit. Yep. And I gave his um, gave his officer a little shot from the sniper and put one pin on them, but Collins rallied them off. Uh, Colin also moved up the here into the building over there, oh, into the, in, down the side, yep. uh, to try and put a little bit of pressure on my armoured car. I moved it forward down over to there and took a sneaky little shot at the Puma. Uh, which was shown its bottom, but unfortunately I missed. Uh, but it was worth a try. Worth a try. So uh, we'll see what we can do on this next turn. See who gets a dice out. Gone was possibly unlucky in the last. It was lucky at the beginning, mm. and then all his dice came out, uh, and I had all the last dices to react. But we shall see how we go in the next one. Oh yeah, and the uh, Kriegsmarine were rallied, so that was okay. Well, there is a bit of a shooting alley going on here, and Colin's got into this unit up here, down here, and he's going to fire two Panzerfausts, one at the tank, and one at the jeep, and then I think he's going to follow up with the machine guns at the jeep. Yep, true with all the other. I will take. Yep. Yep. Uh, so, he needs a six for the... Tank. Tank. So... Should we do that one? Let's do that one. Uh, where are you going to do it? Yeah, I'll get the box over. Get the box over. It's a, it's a box kind of thing. Get rid of my dice there. Ready then? Yep. On the tank? No. Nope. On the jeep? On the jeep. Nope. Wherever that went. Two. Two. Nope. Nope. So okay. both Panzer Faust have missed. Pays for the Panzer Faust have missed. Oh dear. Uh, machine guns on the jeep? Yep. Which have got to be fours? Fours to hit. Yep. Ooh, that's four. Four, four sixes to hurt them. Yep, six us to get a hit. One. One hit. And now roll on the damage to see what you get. One. One. Immobilised. Well, that's good. Yes. Uh, then we've got... Getting very messy in the city. Um, so, over here, we uh, we duffed up the Volkstrom. We took some shots from the, uh, the officer group from the Germans. And we then shot and put a pin on them with the, uh, the sniper. The jeep survived but is now immobilized the Cromwell's still alive the flam i can't even say one flam panzer is immobilized so uh, it still flames and it's still got a light gun uh, but it's got five pins i wrecked the ac aec armored car off because the uh, puma would uh, do it. Oh, that little man's got one pin, Colin. Which one? Oris. <laughs> yeah. Okay. He'll probably fail his leadership test next turn. I do hope so. Uh, as I moved to Jeep Hut, uh, I've disembarked the forward observer and he's done a runner. I'm hoping to get him off the board next turn, but um, we're not sure. Uh, with Colin trying to take out the Jeep totally, I have advanced up the paras to put a little bit of uh, pain on the Charlemagne troops, but they're they're hard to get rid of, and we've we've killed a couple, and they've got what two pins now. I think they've got two. Yeah. Two pins. We uh, we threw the Tetrack light tank across the rubble, and it passed its rubble test, uh, and that moved up, and it put uh, some machine gun hits onto the Charlemagne as well. It may not last very much longer because the Kriegsmarine have come out with their Panzerfausts, so we'll see how they go. And of course, over on this side, the uh, Brandenburgers uh, were in the, the bit of the terrains there in the roll and we have shot at it with the Sherman um, mm, because that one over there turned around to fire at the AEC so we weren't in any threat but we can move our turret so we did put a pin on them but uh, couldn't kill any which was a bit of a shame for me good for Colin so into our next turn it's going to be very interesting how this one Runs out. I've got at the moment one unit off, which is three points. Uh, I've killed a two, which takes it up to five, and Collins killed two, that takes it up to four. So it's five four at the moment in my favour. Uh, but we shall see how the dice roll for this next turn. The Charlemagne troops have uh, struggled a little bit uh, on that one with the Paras advancing up. They uh, took a shot. The tech track took a shot at the um, 
Creek Marine. Creek Marine. Yeah. And they went down. They went down, didn't they? So I didn't do any uh, casualties and didn't uh, didn't kill any. Uh, so they went down. Over on this side, I am denied about taking uh, putting it on ambush. But I decided to shoot at the Brandenburgers. They went down. And then Colin was able to uh, reverse out with his uh, Puma. Took a shot, but fortunately missed uh, this one. But it could be tricky next turn. Depends who first dice comes out. Uh, yes. Over here, um, I might get flamed from the uh, Flame Panzer if it can pass its uh, leadership test. It's got three. three pins on it at the moment. Oris took the pin and survived. So he's got two pins, so he's got need a leadership test to uh, run off the table first. The Cromwell managed to sneak through and put some shots on the here. Killed two of those. Yeah. And put them a, gave him a pin. Uh, over here, the uh, British unit was charged by the German uh, leader, and we managed to beat him off and beat him up and kill him. And then the little German guy here from the Goliath team took a shot but fortunately missed. The Jeep's immobilised, so it can't go anywhere. Don't know whether it's scoring yet. It needs to be within it might the, be. the uh, 24 of deployment. Yep. And I've advanced up the sniper team to uh, see if we can run them up and get them into a scoring position. So it's uh, it's coming down to sort of the wire now. Um, yes, let's see, see how it goes in this next turn. Uh, Horace had to go down, and he didn't make it off the edge of the board. He's just uh, did his attacks and fluffed them, and now we've got the here to uh, to, to have theirs. Fours. Oops. Two. Oh, yeah, that looks like he's and dead. And then fours again. Oh, wow. Oh, dear, yeah, oh, yeah. dear he's being mangled. Oh. And they're tough fights. And they're tough fights. Yeah. Look at that. It, dead, 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 dead. End of the game, we called it. It's got quite late, but um, we didn't think much was going to happen after this turn. So we've totted up the points, and let's have a look at some of the action. Over here, uh, we killed the final guy from the Goliath team. We tried to kill the here unit with the uh, Cromwell, but uh, two survived and passed their morale test. Kriegsmarine uh, retreated behind the wall, and the paratroopers killed the final uh, Charlemagne SS and consolidated back into the rubble. Tetrarch stayed where it was and took a shot but missed. Blows were exchanged on this far right hand side with the Puma and the Sherman both hitting each other failing to do any damage and putting pins on. Brandenburgers still survive and oh yeah, we ran the uh, sniper team up to get into the deployment zone. We've totted up the points and overall it's quite a, it was quite a major win for the British, which was 20 plays 8. Uh, I get 3 points for getting a unit off. I get 2 points for each unit in the defender's defended zone. And a point for every, and a kill. Point for every kill. It's different than the envelopment in the normal envelopment game, where uh, the defender's edge would only have been 12 inches. Uh, so I wouldn't have got many troops into that zone at all. Well, I, probably, you know, I might have pushed forward a bit more. Yeah, you're taking more um, risk, I think. Taking more risk. But there we are, a, uh, a win to the British and the, uh, the Germans fighting hard to uh, keep them out. Well, I was very surprised at the magnitude of my victory. Uh, I think what didn't help is that Colin had set the board up using this table and it didn't really hit the scenario in the book. The scenario in the book gives three roads running through the town and I think if he had gone that route that would have uh, constricted down where I could have travelled particularly if he had placed the two minefields uh, it would only have uh, given one road to be clear to travel through. Uh, so I think I think that really did cause him a, a lot of grief but it was a, a good fun game um, having played, not played Colin for such a long time uh, excellent to get back onto the table again and to get another bolt action game in. I do like playing the scenarios and I think in the videos that come up we'll be playing more and more of the scenarios from the different books. But I hope you enjoyed the uh, the Road to Berlin 
uh, even though it was the British rather than the Soviets playing it. Anyway, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please do so and hit that notification button so that you know when the video's out at the earliest opportunity. Until the next time, take care.